everyone. My name is Johari Shuck with Your Black Education, and we talk with people from the African American community who are passionate about educating our children. Um, so today we have a homeschooling parent, Ms. Candy Mitchell, and she's going to talk to us about not only the efforts that it takes to homeschool your child, but the benefits and also the importance of knowing your laws that relate to your child and their education. So thank you for joining me today, Candy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So first, before we, um, you know, talk about the importance of knowing about state and federal laws as relates to education, I want to talk about you and how you made the decision to homeschool your children. Like, when did you decide to do this and what kind of motivated you to? Okay, um, I was homeschooled from primary school, and when I did transition to public school, that was about sixth grade, I enjoyed the, the experience, but it was then that I decided if I ever had children, I would homeschool them, because there were um, inadequacies of what I thought I should have been learning, and um, you know, as far as, you know, our culture, it wasn't heavily talked in school. You know, we had um, subject matter about it, but um, if I asked questions, you know, I was always told uh, it's not part of the curriculum, so that just deterred me. Mm-hmm. 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 So, so that experience of, of you as a child helped motivate you to, to do what you're doing now. So did you always start? Now, how old are your children? Uh, nine, four, and 13. Okay, so you've homeschooled them the entire time? Right. Um, I do. My 13-year-old, he's special needs. Um, he was exclusively homeschooled up to fourth grade. But it became uh, challenging uh, with him, so there I had enrolled him into a special needs program uh, okay. then for fifth grade. Okay, okay. So now, how, so so he he gets partial right now. Oh, okay. So he spends some time at the school getting yeah. attention, and then he's with he, he you. Gets, right. Okay, okay. Now, um, how do you? I mean, what does a parent need to do? Like, what kind of background do you need to have to be, uh, to, you know, educate your kids at home? Okay, well, for the U.S., all it requires you to have is a high school diploma or GED. GED. That's it. Mm-hmm. 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 And so, now, did you, do you, did you go to college for teaching or anything like that, or you just, um, kind of educated yourself? Because that's equally better sometimes it's even better you know uh no actually uh, i did uh graduate um college i went for pastry and culinary arts okay so um i'm not in my field of study obviously <laughs> but um i learned immensely a lot um you know through school and you know self taught education you know, I'm a book reader, so I'm always reading, you know, for knowledge, and therefore that's how I'm able to, you know, school them. Mm-hmm. All right, yes, yeah, so Sundays I pick a topic for the week, and um, each of the kids can give their input on what, you know, how we're going to go about the material. You know, I have um, subject matter to support that, and, you know, I let them get creative in, you know, what that, you know, will look like. Mm-hmm. That's really Uh cool because kids don't really get that opportunity to, you know, have say so in what they're learning and how they learn it. So that's really good that you're empowering your children to do that. That's really cool. Right. And and, I mean, with that, um, sometimes there's writing assignments with it. Sometimes there's no writing assignment with it. You know, we'll do videos if if it's... um, if I could find uh, supportive information on that topic for video, then we'll watch a video and we'll have um, um, verbal conversations about it. So it's not always they're sitting at a table and they're writing down material. We engage in conversation a lot mm-hmm. and uh, role playing. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, is this kind of how this was modeled for you when you were coming up being homeschooled? Is that kind of how you did it or did you get advice from people? How did you you know, decide this was going to be the way you did it? 
Um, some of it, the, the role, the role playing part we had, um, we didn't get to pick how we did, um, you know, particular materials, but they saw what, you know, each individual child needed. So they, you know, implemented whatever was necessary, necessary. And mm -hmm. that was it. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So how do, how do your kids respond to, um, so I know that, you know, children that are in public schools or private schools or whatever, and then you see your children, how do you think that the differences come in, uh, between your kids and maybe other children? Um, I don't see any issue. I mean, they have a lot of friends. Uh, I've had their friends ask to be, you know, homeschooled, you know, many times mm -hmm. because my kids talk about, you know, their freedom, you know, what they're able to do. I mean, they get on the sofa, they're in bed learning, you know, whatever it is. It's not, we're not stationary in the house. We go to the library, mm -hmm. park, where, wherever they want to do, you know, we get dressed every day. So if you know, one feels they want to get out and about. Well, we take our material with us, and we're learning. You know, outside of the home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. really that's really cool. Okay, so how do you know um, that your children are, um, you know, on the level that they're supposed to be on based on their grades and their ages? Okay, formally, I do not do any testing. On them, I think the rigorous testing um, is is not necessary for elementary age. I feel it's more necessary for um, middle school and high school. But I know as far as um, for my kids, you know, I could see what how their growth um, just in their knowledge. You know, I get um, compliments from neighbors, people in the community. You know, so I just use just that. I, you know, we move on. If they're third grade last year for my son, he's now fourth grade this year. You know, I just move along. And he hasn't missed out on anything. Mm -hmm. And um, the two that are in kindergarten, you know, well, this is their first year. They've never had school. So it was a little challenging to get the two of them to work together because they were, you know, kind of ecstatic mm -hmm. and you know we work things out and you know now we're on on task mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now is there like a community because I've heard of like communities of people that um, homeschool their children that get together for different things do you like link into a community like that yes um, and that has happened through networking um, just by casual conversation at the library or museum you know you could kind of tell when you're out and about and a certain particular time of the day, who's a child that's homeschooled. So you, you know, you start up a conversation and I go to as many conventions, uh, homeschooling conventions as possible in my state, out of my state, you know, I, I utilize that. And, and the internet has been very friendly mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. you know, um, link up with other parents that, you know, do the same as I. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I didn't even know that conferences like that existed. That's really cool. So, like, what type of things, what benefits do you get out of going to conferences like that? Okay. Um, with the conferences, uh, well, some, some are paid, some are free. You know, it all depends on what the situation is. But they have um, modeled classes for parents, you know, educators, parents or someone on the outside who um, – give you what's new for um, this school year, what's been practiced, um, what has worked, what hasn't. Um, this year, the big conversation was about um, uh, employing uh, uh, computers, you know, uh, technology okay. into your education. Um, because um, as for some parents, they, not because you're, you're not savvy with computers, but you it's a, it's a way of filtering your kid away from the whole electronic, you know, world mm -hmm. and get your head in a book kind of thing. But at the same time, this is their generation of the whole technology world. So you can't um, exclude what is of the world. You have to kind of include some way, somehow, on, on some kind of scale to yeah. include that because you don't want them to be um, – uh, not knowledgeable about that, you know, when they're often on their own, you don't want them to be saying, well, I don't know that, mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't taught that, mm -hmm. you know, so you have to kind of roll with the times um, and, and 
try to include, you know, bits and pieces of what's current as along with the past. Mm -hmm. um, they have all kinds of seminars, um, different vendors, um, you know, selling their, their products, whether it's uh, faith-based or just, you know, a, a standard curriculum. Uh, there's, there's so many varieties, um, you know, uh, colleges even come there, you know, uh, uh, Christ Christian colleges come there. Um, they're also mostly, uh, many of them are also homeschool uh, prodigies. Oh, so, you wow. know, they, they give you a lot of hands-on, um, you know, right there at the conference. And it's all different for many of them. Some of them are week-long um, conference, you know, it depends on what their, uh, you know, who, what market they're catering to. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's really good to know. I'm glad you shared that. Okay, so what are some final um, thoughts that you have about homeschooling, and what are some piece of advice that you can share with our audience about just the importance of taking your child's education into your own hands? Well, so for myself, I have homework every day of the week. Um, I'm always fishing for information, whether it's local, uh, you know, or networking with the other moms that I am in contact with. But a great start is um, looking up your local um, homeschool convention to see when, you know, there's an up-and-coming up one mm -hmm. and attend that. And, you know, there's so much information that you learn. Um, you can ask so many questions. You meet people from all walks of life. Um, and, you know, it's really important that you connect with other people. Maybe if, if um, a convention is not um, an avenue for you, then, you know, check your local library, network with your children's um, schoolmates, you know, maybe their mom or parents, you know, know someone, you know, uh, church members, you know, finding information comes, you know, from so many sources. Mm -hmm. So uh, you just have to investigate, you know, some, sometimes you'll find, you know, what you're looking for, but you need to have some patience and get some what you need answers to and Pretty much that's it, you know. Uh, with my family, did you get all of that? No, <laughs> I did. I, the last thing that I heard you say was, um, was that you get to spend time with your family, but then right before that, it cut off. You probably can't even see me now, can you? Darn it. 